Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, YouTube, wherever you are when you're watching this. It is spinach day, and the fish are loving it. I did the little small water change to get the unfertilized eggs out from the bottom of the tank yesterday, and, and I had to rearrange the lava rock this morning. Because whenever I do a water change, I try to rearrange it just so I can try to hide that big white bag of Biomedia. Because I don't like the way it looks just sitting there. But um, the way that I had them, see how they look underneath the lava rock and stuff for food? The way that I had them was not at all good. Because this big Goldie right here knocked a couple of scales loose. You see those spots? She knocked some scales loose on the other side of her body. And see, there's one right there. Forgot where the other two were. They're around here somewhere, though. I saw them already. And yeah, because she was too vigorously trying to get there, they are. See those little areas right there where she's missing a couple of scales? I don't know if you could tell, but you know, everybody knows their fish. They're like right up at the top, towards the top, above that, um, well, anyway, she's gone away because she doesn't like me getting up close and personal. But yeah, knocked a couple of scales loose. So what I would love to do, I saw this video um, about making like moss pillows with java moss and just covering them. And I found a really cool way to do it with tulle. But, um, but I want to... Um, you know, have everything that I need because you guys saw how the Java Friend project went. Didn't have any fertilizer or anything like that that was conducive to plant growing other than just their bio load. So I said I'll try it one day, but I'll wait until I know the tank is good and established because I know there's loads of bio. Um, there's like loads of bacteria not sorry not bio anything but bacteria on these lava rocks so i'll wait a little while so yep i'll eventually want to cover these with moss especially just because of some of those sharp edges even when i turn the rocks around they're still sharp like little edges and if they make those little caves or crevices sorry about the bottom of the tank you guys um like i said i've been moving lava rocks around so the dust comes up um, they try to squeeze in there, especially this little one. She's got a couple missing too. But you can't really say that well because she's all white. Um, but I can see it when I get close enough. Yeah, we've had a busy week, kiddo. Haven't you? Yeah, knocked scales loose, but um, yep. They're enjoying their spinach. So that'll be one project to happen in the future. Java moss pillows. If anybody has any tips on Java moss, because I'm really nervous about, like, I've heard it can clog up filters and all this other stuff. I'm um, getting an intake sponge for that filter, but, um, you know, any extra tips will always help, especially from those more experienced than I am. So, yeah, I think that's all I would want to do in here. Cause I know the java moss will grow out eventually and I could like trim it and do all kinds of stuff with that but um yeah I think that would be the best option for me would be java moss pillows mm -hmm. so I'm gonna let them finish uh enjoying their spinach and you guys have a wonderful wonderful day all right bye guys